In the realm of modern warfare, technology is a double-edged sword. As the conflict in Ukraine continues to simmer, a significant development has emerged from the shadows. The delivery of Cortex Typhon counter-uncrewed aerial systems, also known as CUAS, to Ukraine courtesy of Norway. With a contract valued at $71 million, this acquisition not only marks a pivotal moment for Ukraine's defense capabilities, but also raises crucial questions. How will this cutting-edge arsenal reshape the dynamics of the conflict? As this formidable weapon prepares to take to the Ukrainian skies, it prompts the ever-watchful Russia to recalibrate its strategies and ponder the implications of this formidable addition to Ukraine's arsenal. Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, or Kongsberg, has secured a contract via the International Fund for Ukraine to provide CUAS to Ukraine. The contract involves the delivery of Cortex Typhon systems designed to counter various UAV threats through physical harm or disruption. The systems are based on proven software and hardware from Teledyne, Fleur, and Kongsberg Technology, including surveillance systems, a Protector RS-6 remote weapon stations, or RWS, equipped with a 30mm cannon, and the Cortex Integrated Combat Solution, or ICS. The systems will be mounted on German Krauss Maffe Wegmann Dingo, two mine resistant ambush protected wheeled vehicles. The International Fund for Ukraine, established by the UK, Norway, and other international partners, facilitates the swift procurement of critical capabilities for Ukraine's defense. The introduction of the Cortex Typhon CUAS signifies a substantial leap in Ukraine's defensive prowess. Designed to neutralize an array of unmanned aerial threats, these systems are the fruit of collaborative efforts between Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, Teledyne FLIR, and the Norwegian government. As mentioned earlier, the package includes surveillance technology, Kongsberg RWS, and the Cortex ICS, all integrated onto German Dingo 2 vehicles provided by Norway. This high-tech ensemble is finely tuned to deal with both kinetic and non-kinetic means, sending a strong message that Ukraine is steadfast in safeguarding its sovereignty. Ukraine's military will gain newfound strength through the implementation of pragmatic CUAS air defense systems, a move poised to integrate a comprehensive network of sensors and destructive capabilities. This amalgamation promises the optimized utilization of CUAS resources, reinforcing Ukraine's defense strategy. While the primary aim of this acquisition is to bolster Ukraine's defenses, its impact goes beyond the nation's borders. Russia, an active player in the ongoing conflict, must recalibrate its strategy in light of this technological leap. The Cortex Typhon's advanced capabilities introduce a new layer of complexity to the already intricate conflict landscape. The capacity to counter unmanned aerial vehicles with precision machine gun fire could potentially erode Russia's aerial superiority, forcing them to rethink their operational tactics and risk assessment. Should Russia be cautious? The answer to the question of whether Russia should be cautious in the face of the $71 million, Norwegian Typhon's arrival lies within the delicate interplay of posturing and prudence. The delivery of the Cortex Typhon CUAS introduces an element of uncertainty, challenging Russia's predictability in the region. This uncertainty could be a tactical advantage for Ukraine as it compels Russia to factor in the potential disruption caused by these advanced systems. While it's not a silver bullet, the CUAS could certainly tip the scales in Ukraine's favor, prompting Russia to exercise caution in its aerial maneuvers. Moreover, the timing of this delivery is noteworthy. With ongoing international scrutiny of Russia's activities and calls for accountability, any misstep could result in severe diplomatic repercussions.
The presence of advanced CUAS systems not only signifies Ukraine's commitment to deterring aerial threats, but also serves as a diplomatic statement against any form of aggression. This places the burden of responsibility on Russia's shoulders, as any hasty escalation could be met with intensified international condemnation. As these complex dynamics play out, the specter of diplomatic consequences looms large, demanding Russia to weigh its actions carefully amidst a scrutinizing world stage. In the scope of modern warfare, information is as potent as armaments. The introduction of the Cortex Typhon CUAS amplifies Ukraine's informational power, enhancing its narrative on the global stage. This development showcases Ukraine's resilience and its readiness to embrace innovative solutions to defend its sovereignty. For Russia, this shift in storyline could present a challenge as the international community witnesses Ukraine's determination to fortify itself against potential aggressors. The $71 million Norwegian Typhon has led into a new chapter in the Ukraine conflict, one that beckons Russia to reassess its approach. While the acquisition of advanced CUAS technology is not a guarantee of victory, it does introduce a level of unpredictability that may compel Russia to exercise restraint. The significance of this delivery extends beyond hardware. It symbolizes Ukraine's unyielding spirit and its willingness to face challenges head on. In the ever-evolving landscape of global conflicts, the journey of the $71 million Norwegian Typhon to Ukraine signifies more than a mere transaction. It marks a convergence of innovation, resilience, and geopolitical recalibration. As this cutting-edge technology finds its home in Ukrainian skies, its implications ripple beyond hardware, shaping histories of determination and defense. The story of the Norwegian Typhon is not just about the machines, it's a testament to a nation's steadfast commitment to safeguard its sovereignty. As the Cortex Typhon takes its place in Ukraine's defense arsenal, the world watches with bated breath. Will this technological infusion reshape the conflict dynamics? Will Russia recalibrate its strategy in response? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching.